How long will you want the safe house for? Well, I, I want everyone to stay there until we worked out a draft treaty to show the Israelis. And you really believe you can get a positive Israeli response? Probably not, but the Arabs have promised to stick around till they get an Israeli reaction. I mean, they'll meet there and then with anyone that the uh, Israelis sent to negotiate. In secret. Face to face. Hello. <laughs> I don't believe Who's it. calling, please? Yeah. Oh, Lauren Slaughter. Tell her I'm out. I'm sorry, Lord Bulbeck is out. Would you care to leave a message? No. Yes? How's my star performer? Twilly, what a surprise. Ever since that Arab reception, you've been in real demand. Really? You've made my day. There's a nice English boy called three times today. I told him you at the Ritz this afternoon. What if I don't go? You'll ruin my reputation and yours. What have you got that makes you so popular? Something you don't have. Brains. It doesn't take brains to get fucked. <laughs> the proportion of real estate and fast return consumer investment has been such as to make almost no ripple in Western financial capitals. But in my view, the West could absorb at least twice the current rate of petrodollars without any serious danger. And finally, there is the myth so widely held over here that petrodollars have failed to reach the underdeveloped countries of the third world. In this instance, the failure is one of communication, not of intention. Uninformed public opinion, a biased media, and the atavistic fears of a Western culture that regards all Arabs as potential enemies have done the rest. friends of yours like? Very tattler and country life. A bit hard to take sometimes, but I hope you'll like them. Oh, please allow me. Oh, Thank you. So I'll take that. Yes. Nora. Oh, this must be the lovely Julia. I'm not. Does that mean I have to go home? I'd like to introduce Dr. Slaughter. Hi. You can call me Lauren. Well, I'd much rather call you Dr. Slaughter, if you don't mind. Slaughter's a most unusual name. It sounds like something in Trollope. I always like a little Trollope in bed before I go to sleep. Who said that? I think it was old Harold. Hello. I'm Lauren Slaughter. How do you do? Americans wear the most extraordinary things on their feet, don't they? Felipe will show you to your room. I can hardly wait. Oh, yes, I thought your dress looked absolutely lovely. Really beautiful. Uh, this is Dr. Slaughter. No, she seems to be totally preoccupied with our cat. <laughs> She's a friend of Rex. Dr. Slaughter, this is Sydney and Alan Platts Williams. How do you do? Can't think what's keeping him. If he's much longer, Felipe will have a tantrum and the lamb will be ruined. Dr. Slaughter is uh, new to London. And where does she live? Dr. Slaughter lives in Half Moon Street. Isn't it simply crawling with Arabs and call girls? Yes, it's also very close to the Middle Eastern Institute. I have a fellowship there. Well, that's the organization that's financed by all those wog banks. Hugh Shuttlesboy, what's his name, Julian? Doesn't he work there? 
Well, the one who couldn't get into the FO. I know, Julian. What's everyone doing this summer? Bumps has got his boat in San Tropez. <laughs> Such a ball, all those people. But he can't control his crew at all. He goes where they want. <laughs> Well, that sounds like him now. I thought it was a beast, but I'm always saying to George, we're oh, getting far too old. Well. All those luscious, topless teenagers make me feel such a frown. Just about giving you, you been up. to a beast, Sorry I'm late, everyone. I decided to make a speech. Hello, Rex. Hello, sir. Sam, I'd like to introduce Dr. Slaughter. Very pleased to meet you, my dear. Oh, the famous Lord Bulbeck. Shall we go in? Oh, something? Yes, yes. I'm here with someone else. You should have called the Jasmine Agency. Twilly could have found you a date. Very funny. I called you, but apparently you were out. I was unavailable. What does that mean? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I get it. This is a setup. Really? Unfortunately, I can't get hold of you any other way. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll come by later. And I'll tuck you in and I'll explain everything. They put me in the fucking maid's room. Oh, dear. I'll come to you. All right. That was a very roundabout way of getting me into bed. Very roundabout and very safe. It'd be so much easier in Half Moon Street. My dear, I'm a security risk even coming here. You're killing yourself with that stuff. That's the least of my worries. I suppose you've been going to bed with lots of men? Oh, I haven't been in bed with anyone for weeks. You're joking. On a table, on a chair, on an exercise bike, in the bathroom, but almost never in bed. What's it like on an exercise bike? Imagination fails me. Well, they watch mostly. Sometimes they take pictures. And in the bathroom? <laughs> Someone who was shaving me. It doesn't look well, as if. I only let him trim it. What was he, a hairdresser? Oh, you don't really want to know. Were you scared? No. I'm always in control. Am I turning you on again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> look at the garbage these people eat. Their colons must be a mess. Sam. Yes? You know, I don't usually like spending the night with someone, but I like it with you. You often get nice young Rex to cover for you. Well, he's very devoted to me, but I've never asked him anything like that before, no. I apologized for last night. People were beastly to you. Yes, they were. This whole country has seen as a drag. Sam, yeah. let's get the fuck out of here. Without telling my friends? Just, just like that? You call these assholes friends? All right. Let's go. Christ, we lost him. There's something we have to discuss, Sam. 
security. That's Haldane's baby. They mean you, Lord Bullbeck. Why should anyone go after me? They asked me in. Not everyone wants this meeting to happen. This is hardly the place to talk about it. Uh, uh, Milor, Monsieur. Claret. Anything that goes with duck. Uh, Lord Bluebeck always has a bottle of Santonet 79 with his duck. Sam, he's waiting for you to decide. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine, uh, Rene, if there's any left. I always keep a bottle for Lord Bluebeck. You'll get my name right one day. <laughs> Sam, I've never seen you drink perry and lime before. I'm also thinking of becoming a vegetarian. Well, it's 2.30 a.m. and our guest tonight is Frank Trebor. Now, Frank, after your third divorce, you're now a bachelor again. How does it feel? Miserable. I just feel miserable. I'm out right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Lord Bullback. You know, this charming lady, he speaks our language perfectly. She has many talents, Ambassador. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Ambassador, there's some people over here who'd like to meet you. Well? Well, what? How did it end the other night? What night? The Connaught Grill, two days ago. Awfully young, wasn't he, to have to go to an agency? You weren't in at 3 a.m. That was you who called all those times and never left a message? How much did you charge? Or was his charge efficient? It's none of your business, is it? <laughs> Mr. Van Arkady. Hello. How nice to see you. Lord Bullbeck. Hello, Hugo. I hear your conference the other day was a terrific success. She's putting new life into the Middle Eastern Institute. An amazing performance. I want to hear all about it. Excuse us, Hugo. Mr. Van Alkady, nice to meet you. What do you think you're doing? You see one of your clients? No, he is not. Who's that tall girl with Lord Bullbeck? Haven't you heard? He hires them by the hour. How totally out of character, Sam. I'm touched. I take it peace has been declared. An honorable truce. Let's go somewhere next weekend. It's my birthday. I know. Virgo. So it's on, okay? No Moras, no Rexes, no Rafferties, no bodyguard, just us. Dr. Slaughter, you just got yourself a deal. Hello, Sam. Hi. I've got everything, so where are you going to pick me up? I I've been trying to reach you all day. Something's come up. The weekend's off. It's, it's a last minute thing, I have to admit. I suppose I'll read about it in the newspapers. Oh, I certainly hope not. Listen, I'll be back on Monday. Why don't we have a quiet birthday dinner? Just the two of us. You mean Half Moon Street? Where else? Alone? That was the general idea. I can't wait. Hi, 
Hi, this is 7500360. I'm out right now, but if you'll leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, this is Sam. There's been a hitch. I'm sorry. I'm on my way to catch a plane. I have to be in Geneva next week. There's a lovely hotel on the lake Sam. nearby. Rex will arrange everything. Hello? Happy birthday, Lauren. I thought you people didn't drink. Well, this Arab does. And may the coming year fulfill all our expectations. I almost forgot. A little something for your birthday. Kareem. A memento of your new life. A token of our friendship. A half moon. Oh, it's lovely. May I? How thoughtful. And here is to your Geneva trip. How did you know I was going to Geneva? Chateau du Comte d'Artois on Lake Geneva. This is yours, isn't it? Squash, tennis, a health spa. Trying to lose weight, Dr. Slaughter? Hmm? <laughs> and here is to your Geneva trip. How did you know I was going to Geneva? Chateau du Comte d'Artois on Lake Geneva. You have to put real punch into that swing. Gilbert Saint-Val. My friends call me Sonny. Maybe you should take some lessons. I hate lessons. Here, let me show you. Excusez-moi, Madame Ouella. You are wanted on the phone. Thank you. I'll be right back. Sam? I, I'm, I'm still in Geneva, but I'll be late. How late? I'll try and sneak out tomorrow afternoon. So, dinner tomorrow night? You better be here. You have my word. Okay. How about some lunch? No, thanks. I'm pooped. I'm just going to go back to my room and uh, have an apple. Do you have two apples? Thanks for the lesson. For you. Thank you. Now you have two apples. Bonsoir. Any messages? I don't think so, madame. Oh, I'm sorry. Monsieur Weller called. Thank you. Son bâton, monsieur. Hi. Hi. Hey, if you're interested, there are a couple of apples left. I've never had one before. But some women never have one. Ever. I mean a spinal massage. That's enough, thanks. Would you get me a towel? 
please? 